Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Swallowed Star based on novel. So let's start. Solar System, Mars. This was an extremely dry, desert-like planet. And now, a jet black disc-shaped universe spaceship was inside a deep hole with a diameter of a few hundred meters. This spaceship was one of Luo Feng's reserve spaceships, which now became Luo Feng's headquarters during his temporary stay on Mars. Inside the gigantic resting room of the spaceship, a long rectangular dark blue nutrition cabin lay within. The entire nutrition cabin was 21.6 meters long and 8.3 meters wide. The main body of it was dark blue. At the same time, on the metallic surface were a lot of complicated flower markings and a few simple buttons. An E-grade nutrition cabin, the highest quality nutrition cabin in all of the human races of the universe. Just the price reaches 86 billion universe dollars, which is equivalent to three or four galaxies that are a bit desolate. The dark blue metal on the surface is AF8 grade metal comparable to the hybrid copper essence bluestone essence, which is extremely expensive. Of course, the weapon that Luofone uses, the hybrid copper essence shard, even though it's small, also has an astonishing price because of its craftsmanship. It is valuable in its edge. To make an extremely tough metal like the hybrid copper essence into something sharp is an extremely difficult task. The higher the grade of a metal, the harder it is to work with. The hybrid copper essence is something that even an undying being can only make a small mark on after punching it. Back then, the master of Yunmo planet indeed sacrificed a lot to make his spaceship into the shape of a sharp triangle. This is why the Yunmo planet spaceship is so powerful. Because of the bluestone essence surface, even an undying being will need a lot of time to break this nutrition cabin. See inside the cabin. A young, black haired youth with a naked body that was essentially perfect lay within the dark grey nutritional liquid. Energy filled with the force of life swiftly sweeped into his body through each of the pores in his skin. The energy containing the force of life immediately triggered the transformation of the genes after his cells absorbed it. A ton of nutritional liquid could purchase over 100 universe level slaves and over 10,000 life planets. His hair continuously grew longer, his skin became more crystalline, his bones became tougher, his muscles became denser, his battle ability amplifier rose. Turn off, Luo Foam commanded the AI in the nutrition cabin. The nutritional liquid steadily decreased and became empty. It was also extremely dry. Waves of high pressured heat wiped across Luo Feng's body like a towel. After that, the nutrition cabin automatically added in water to rinse off Luo Feng's body, and then finally dried it again. Luo Feng stood up and leaped out of the nutrition cabin, which was three meters tall. At the same time, a deep red battle uniform set automatically formed on his body and battle boots around his feet. His battle boots stepped onto the alloyed floor of the spaceship, this nutrition cabin, just what you would expect from an E-grade nutrition cabin. Its effects are indeed amazing, Luo Feng's eyes glowed as he looked at the dark green nutrition cabin in front of him, no matter how effective it is, your body needs to catch up with it. After laying in the nutrition cabin for nearly half a month, you have to rest for at least half a month before you can enter it again. Oh yeah. Luo Feng, how is your 10,000 blade soul seal going? A nonchalant voice reverberated across the spaceship. It was the living AI Barbata. I can cast out 226 soul seal blades simultaneously, said Luo Feng. Of course Luo Feng won't relax on his 10,000 blade soul seal training. Since the only way to cast the slave seal is by completing most of the 10,000 blade soul seal. And by doing so, he'll finally have made a tiny bit of progress on the path of the soul seal. Too slow, still a long way to go until you can cast 10,000 soul seal blades, and don't even mention merging all 10,000 into one, yelled Barbata loudly. I understand, smiled Luo Feng. After half a month of evolution and bitter spiritual force training, Luo Feng was very tired. He walked out of the universe spaceship, flew out the deep hole, and arrived at the surface of Mars. The cold, red gravel extended into the horizon. Sandstorms charging towards the sky could be seen in the distance. Luo Feng, who was completely covered in his cloud contact battle uniform set, gazed at the land. Suddenly, a gigantic image swiftly approached from the raging sandstorm in the distance. This was a gigantic monster that was as large as a mountain. Its body was covered in black scales. Its two horns which pierced towards the sky were covered in golden engravings. Its neck and back were also covered in golden engravings. The golden horned beast in the distance roared towards the sky, its cold eyes looked towards the human Luo Feng in the distance. 
Luo Feng also looked towards the golden horned beast in the distance. It's time to break through to the universe level, Luo Feng frowned. The golden horned beast's body and his human body can appear in the outer world at the same time, or one of the bodies can appear in the outer world alone, or neither of them. When both bodies aren't in the outer world, then, the core will appear in the outer world. No matter what the core must be in the outer world, it cannot enter the inner world. As for the bodies, whether the golden horned beast body or the human body, they can be repaired no matter how damaged they are. Because to Luo Feng, the core of his life is the core that contains his soul. Of course the core is his weak point. Luo Feng wouldn't dare to leave his core outside, that would be asking for death. In the battle before, the only reason his human body hid in the inner world while the golden horned beast appeared was because Luo Feng didn't want anyone to discover the relationship between his human body and the golden horned beast. As of now, since a defense system has been installed throughout the entire solar system, he definitely doesn't have to worry about anyone discovering that he and the golden horned beast are on Mars. The universe level. It's time to break through Luo Feng shook his head and waved his hand. All types of valuable metal appeared on the ground. Luo Feng then transformed into a flowing light, as he flew towards the universe spaceship in the distance. However, the mountain-like body of the golden horned beast lay on the desert ground. It extended its claw to cover the pile of metal. Space warped, and the pile of metal shrunk, and then disappeared within the golden horned beast's palm. Mars was as quiet as always. It had two extra living beings. One of them was the human hiding in the spaceship, while the other one was the space beast laying on the ground of the desert. Time passed day by day. Even though Luo Feng was anxious, he could only wait. Time in China, the 26th of December 2063. On this day, beneath the surface of a certain area of the desert in Mars lay a golden horned beast. A thick sound filled with excitement echoed around the sky. Boom. A human image swiftly flew out of the spaceship and hovered in midair. He looked at the area where the golden horned beast lay and was filled with happiness. The inner world finally broke through. Inside the inner world of the golden horned beast. The continent, which was covered in a golden mist was gigantic. Its length and width was 90 kilometers long. However, at this moment, the entire world was shaking violently. The originally spread out golden mist crazily flowed across the entire continent, which caused the golden continent to crazily absorb the mist and crazily expand. Its length and width expanded continuously, and its height continued to expand. This caused the continent to become thicker. The golden mist dramatically shrunk. In return, the golden continent expanded continuously. A jaw-dropping expansion. In just a few short hours, this continent went from a length and width of 90 kilometers to a length and width of 1,000 kilometers. Its area expanded by around 100 times. The center of the golden horned beast is its core. And the core of its core is the inner world. The golden horned beast swallows large amounts of metal to make the inner world expand and become more perfect. Only by expanding its inner world can the golden horned beast break through. As of now from a length and width of 90 kilometers, it broke past the length and width of 1000 kilometers in an extremely short amount of time. Its inner world has completely transformed, rumble deep within the desert of Mars, without the suppression of the inner world, the golden horned beast that has been stuck at the peak of the star level 9 stage finally began its transformation. With an extremely excited howl, the golden horned beast's body slowly began to expand. Its bones and scales became tougher and harder. A third horn even began to appear on its forehead. The armor-like golden engravings covering most of its body also began to let out a mysterious glow, which continuously seeped into the body of the golden horned beast. Inside the core. In a gigantic tower which basically covered the entire surrounding space, nine unbelievably hot fireballs were following a peculiar trail, as they orbited around each other and formed a natural, unusual structure. This was the physical structure of Luo Feng's soul. Without the suppression from the inner world, the nine fireballs that have long reached their limit instantly started to absorb the pure energy within the universe. As they absorbed, the nine fireballs started to vibrate and expand, rumble within an instant, all the energy in the space in the sky above Mars had been crazily absorbed, forming a scary whirlpool of energy. Such an astonishing level of energy caused the nine mini-stars to swiftly expand. In just moments, their area expanded by ten times. The nine fireballs were still vibrating. At the same time, the largest star reached its limit in expansion, Peng. The largest star ferociously exploded. The other eight mini-stars exploded on by one. After they surpassed their limit, 
they exploded, forming countless star pieces. Even a large nebula was formed. After a long time, everything went silent. In the core. The large amounts of nebulae, star dust, star clusters, and extremely small planets formed a gigantic spiral galaxy. The mini stars were most common within the very center of this gigantic spiral galaxy, tens of millions of them. At the same time, the entire spiral galaxy had eight spiral arms. However, there was an extremely tiny black area within the dense center of the spiral galaxy. Over there was the first black hole of the entire spiral galaxy. This mini black hole was slowly swallowing the stars and space dust around it. At the same time, at a place that cannot be reached, it generated slivers of pure energy, the mist-like spiritual force seemed to appear out of thin air as it appeared in the surroundings of the gigantic spiral, causing a layer of light to cover the entire galaxy. What formed this bright, mysterious mist-like energy was indeed what universe-level spirit readers rely on, spiritual force. An extremely pure spiritual force. The golden horned beast has officially stepped into the universe level. On the desolate Mars, deep underground. Luo Feng's face was flushed with excitement, swiftly piercing underground, breaking through to the universe level, that's the real mark of becoming a real strong warrior, as the most elite bloodline in the entire universe, entering the universe level, only then can the golden horned beast actually unleash its true potential. Luo Feng vanished completely as he entered his internal world. Even though its body had become much bigger, with its length exceeding one kilometer, from the tip of its three horns, head portion, neck, continuous back, wings, four claws, tails, all of these had golden engravings on the scales since its birth, and now they were all glimmering. The dreamy golden domain engulfed the golden horned beast's entire surroundings, this, this is a domain. Luo Feng's soul could clearly feel that peculiar form of energy, this only happened when it just broke through to the universe level, with the help of the natural engravings and energy, spirit reading, genetic energy, willpower, physical body, they all naturally reached an incredible and harmonious state, the energies all began to fuse, and the golden energy that resulted from that actually affected the surrounding space. It's as described in the bloodline inheritance. The golden horned beast, even when it eats or sleeps, with its natural growth, will still naturally gain a domain, and it would constantly evolve, one layer, two layers until nine layers, and finally breaking through to having its own world energy, stepping into the sector lord level. Even to the point of reaching the universe origins origin laws of gold, reaching the pinnacle of sector lords, the inheritance memories, indeed, not lacking, not lacking at all, it's, it's too heavenly. Luo Feng's excitement surged. The difference was aggravating. Humans compared to the space beasts, the most elite of the bloodlines, and the one above them all, the golden horned beast, that was even more aggravating. Owning a domain was hard. Like Hong and Thunder God, who were either masters of martial arts or yoga masters, these two experienced a lot during the great Nirvana period before finally being able to break through the levels of martial arts and yoga, reaching the pinnacle of harmonious fusion, before finally attaining their domains. And the golden horned beast, as the pinnacle bloodline of the vast universe was set to achieve the universe origin laws and become the pinnacle of sector lords, just from reaching maturity, what are you satisfied about? What are you excited about? Hong and Thunder God had their domains when they were at the star traveler level. You only attained it after reaching the universe level and you are excited and content, as for the laws, that battle arena Hanks and Genji's fight, that Hanks was even able to realize a little about the universe origin laws. Also, last time within the slaughterhouse, you and Thunder God were both easily defeated by a white-robed lady. That white-robed lady was only star level 1, and she could already feel the laws. There are many geniuses among the human race in the universe, what are you so proud of? Talent doesn't mean that your achievements will be high, the inheritance passed down from generation to generation for the golden horned beast, there have been many of them in history. However their achievements and levels have all been greatly different. Some golden horned beast just bank on their inheritance and reach the pinnacle of sector lords, living out their lifespans and dying, other golden horned beast, rely totally on their talents and waste their lifespans. Only through experiencing setbacks will one realize and work hard and train. However as the time wasted before was too long, many have been unable to become undying beings. Only very few golden horned beasts realize early enough that talent is just one side of it, hard work was important too. Only these golden horned beast will actually train techniques like absolute space, and nine-layer space ripping to a high level, and eventually stepping into the undying level. And some golden horned beast undying even create new techniques, and become the heroes of the entire race. Sector Lord Pinnacle. Undying. Absolute peak even amongst the undying, which do you want to become, 
if you only want to reach the pinnacle of sector lords, then just play around every day. Back in the Pacific Ocean, when you risked it all and gambled to possess the golden horned beast body, it was already set for you to become the pinnacle of sector lords, it's not hard at all for you, wanting to become an undying. Then you have to be incredibly hardworking, an absolute warrior, even amongst the undying, stronger than your teacher. That requires hard work, ferocity, comprehension etc., all the elements, which do you choose? Barbata berated Luo Feng, causing him to realize and awaken. What he said was indeed correct, Hong and Thunder God had their domains when they were in the Star Traveler level, back then he was easily defeated by the white-robed lady, a Star Level 1 who already understood the laws. In terms of talent, maybe humans couldn't be compared to the Golden Horned Beast. However the amount of human races in the universe were too many, with such numbers, this meant that the amount of geniuses with incredible comprehension was extremely high too, the Golden Horned Beast's talents, are heavenly by themselves. I have to compare myself with the pinnacle of geniuses amongst the human race in the universe. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed, Golden Horned Beast. There have been many generations of Golden Horned Beasts, I want to become the strongest of them all. Luo Feng felt a surge in ambition, the beast's large golden pupils gleamed with golden light, my teacher back then actually managed to possess a long Ku Yu's body, I actually managed to get a Golden Horned Beast's body. My teacher relied on himself and created the soul imprint technique. I have the Golden Horned Beast and the Yunmo Planet's techniques, all of their information, talent, information, I have everything. Willpower, I have it too, comprehension, I'm not too bad, I have everything, then my most basic point will be reaching the undying level first, after which, becoming an absolute warrior amongst the undying. Stronger than even the undying that killed my teacher. Luo Feng looked to the future with anticipation. The golden horned beast lay underground on Mars, with its entire body covered in scales and on them the peculiar engravings, this made the golden horned beast, which had calmed down emit a peculiar ripple of energy. This was a kind of ripple from the vast universe. However, this ripple seemed to be covered and obscured by layers and layers of gauze, making it very hard and tedious for Luo Feng to feel it completely. However, this alone made Barbata very shocked, because under normal circumstances, only after reaching a 8 or 9 layer domain will one be able to vaguely feel these ripples. And Luo Feng, who only had a 1 layer domain, was already able to sense it somewhat. Golden Horned Beast, it could feel the origin laws in the internal world, the Golden Continent, that universe origins ripple, it seems it became clearer within. Time passed like flowing water. One month after another. In the later days. The first batch of Earth's migrants form the five great countries, summed up to about 80,000 people. Luo Feng had bought a planet called Jade Rainbow Star within the Silver Blue Empire galaxy, and it had about a hundred million natives. This first batch of Earth's humans were arranged to be sent there. Once the arrangements were all settled, Luo Feng immersed himself deep in his training. His human body was focused on the 10,000 blade soul imprint, also spending time and energy on the soaring shuttle. As for the golden horned beast, it was completely immersed in the domain and laws. In a flash, it was already year 2065. Two years had passed. China year 2065, October 25th, Luo Feng's training grounds on Mars. Within the universe ship spacious study, a dark green nutrition cabin was placed there, suddenly, the doors opened and a human body, a full nude human body with three inches of black short hair, a man. Luo Feng quickly put on a layer of armor and boots and flew out of the nutrition cabin, two years of work, finally stepping into the star level seven. Luo Feng smiled, this E-grade nutrition cabin is indeed not bad, how's your training on the spatial techniques? Barbata's voice resounded within the ship, no headway. Luo Feng shook his head, the spatial techniques are too hard, I haven't made any progress at all. Two years ago in the world within a world, Luo Feng began working on the 10,000 blade soul imprint, this technique belonged to the Yumo planet soul imprint techniques, as was one of the more basic ones, it still however took more than a year, close to two, for Luo Feng to make a big step with it. Training the 10,000 blade soul imprint made the training of the slave soul imprint much easier to achieve. And during this time, Barbata had passed Luo Feng another technique, saying this, Luo Feng, even though your teacher didn't fully comprehend the origin laws of space, he still made huge achievements with the space laws. Even to the point of traveling through dark universes and being able to shroud them and camouflage. This, even amongst the undying, only very few can do that, even though you have the golden horned beast, however you can only feel the origin laws of gold now. 
What's more, the space laws, are originally the hardest law in the universe to feel and comprehend, just like the time laws, they are the two deepest and hardest laws in the universe, hence, right now you've had a little step in the soul imprint, the 10,000 blade soul imprint and slave soul imprint has succeeded. You even have your own domain. You can barely begin to feel the spatial techniques, start from the simplest, the spatial techniques, right from the entrance, every step will be tedious and hard. However, you've trained in the golden horned beast's absolute space, maybe that'll make your entrance into this spatial technique somewhat easier. Work hard. The origin laws are the main path. The origin laws of gold, you can let the golden horned beast train. The spatial techniques will be your future main training. Barbata was filled with anticipation before, he thought that with the golden horned beast's talents, it should be easier. But what a pity, after months of training, nothing was achieved. Even the entrance wasn't reached, accurately speaking, he never even touched the door, Barbata, this spatial technique, the entrance alone is incomparably tough. Luo Feng said, don't get discouraged, if a few months won't do, then take a few years. If a few years won't do, then take decades and hundreds of years. Take your time. Barbata smiled, maybe I was too demanding, the spatial techniques, normally only sector lords would find it easier to train. However the earlier you succeed, the stronger it will be later. Understood. Luo Feng nodded, right, Luo Feng. The army from the Nwolan Shan family, according to time calculation, should reach within the next 10 days. Including discrepancies and errors, the universe ship may still very likely appear in the solar system in the next few days. Barbata reminded. Nwolan Shan family. Luo Feng smiled, I've been waiting for them for too long, two years eight months ago, they had already known about the Nwolan Shan family passing through the wormhole, headed towards Earth. With so much time, Luo Feng had made ample preparations, full of confidence. Barbata's mocking voice resounded within the universe ship, right, Luo Feng, it's time we return to Earth. No rush. Luo Feng shook his head, the golden horned beast is currently training deity of the world, it can't stop at this time, let's wait a while more, I'll take the chance to go train a little in the slaughterhouse battle arena, it's been some time since I went there. Slaughterhouse battle arena. There's no challenge there for you. Against higher levels, there's going to be some challenge. Luo Feng smiled, sitting down cross-legged and closing his eyes, his consciousness entered the virtual universe network. Virtual universe network, Black Dragon Mountain Island, within one of the battle arenas of the slaughterhouse. It was an endless desert. In it stood two men, one of which had green scales on his face, a single horn on his forehead, and he had two battle knives crossed on his back, he stared coldly at his opponent. His opponent was one dressed in a white battle robe, with silver long hair and silver eyes, a handsome man, one hundred blades. The silver-haired man chuckled, you actually dare to battle against someone of a higher level, I will let you know, the difference between a universe level 8 and 9. HMPH. The green-scaled man snorted and this made the silver-haired man's expression change. The green-scaled man and the silver-haired man suddenly became two beams of lights and clashed. Within one of the quiet rooms of the slaughterhouse. Nwolan Shan, who was dressed in dark green battle uniform, was chatting with another in a grey long robe. A screen floated before them and it was displaying the fight between the green-scaled man and the silver-haired man. By Kalua's strength has risen a lot from before. The man in the grey long robe complimented, his eyes long and narrow, smiling as he said, by Kalua's talent, willpower and comprehension, is the highest and best amongst all my disciples. Nwolan Shan said proudly, even though I have the battle axe title, back when I was universe level 8, I probably didn't even have his current strength. Such a high assessment. The man in the grey robe said shocked, then you think he can win this battle? He can win. Nwolan Shan nodded, his opponent is a universe level 9. The man in the grey robe said, just watch. Nwolan Shan said confidently. On the screen, the green scaled by Kaluo was engaged in an extremely intense battle with his opponent. Strong green winds were circling about, by Kaluo was almost like a child of the wind, his entire body had become a spinning top, constantly spinning, his knives in his hands became flashes of light, cutting at the silver-haired man. The silver-haired man's form was extremely elegant, white light surrounded his body and his entire being was almost like a sun, he controlled a thread-like spirit weapon, and constantly surrounded by Kaluo, ten blades. The green-scaled man's expression was malevolent, shouting out. The knives suddenly became ten beams of light, fifty blades. Another shout. 
that snow white light of the knives duplicated even more, flashes of light from the blades seemed to form a lotus flower, every blade and its reflection like a petal of the lotus. The thread-like weapon was dancing about in the surroundings, attacking it by Kaluo time and again, one hundred blades. By Kaluo shouted, rumble, an extremely glaring flash of the blades, suddenly formed, almost like a tsunami, one that was formed from the reflection and flashes from a one hundred blades, immediately swallowing up the silver-haired man, his eyes were filled with shock and fear, he couldn't believe what was happening and with a crash, his entire body was destroyed. By Kaluo, the man with green scales all over his face snorted coldly and vanished from the battle arena, beautiful. The silver long-robed man revealed an expression of delight, as he shouted gleefully, What do you think? I didn't exaggerate did I? Nwolan Shan smiled, It is indeed beautiful, your disciple is too powerful. The man's face was flushed red with excitement, his knife skills and wind domain, have already fused perfectly together. Also the speed of the blades get quicker as time passes. The later it gets, the stronger his attacks become, finally crushing that universe level 9 altogether. Right? Nwolan Shan nodded, by Kaluo's strong point, is that as he unleashes this technique and time passes, it would get stronger and stronger. However his weakness is very obvious, during the time it takes to reach its full power, its strength isn't too powerful. If the opponent takes that opportunity, he would have a high chance of beating him. Ha ha, don't be too harsh. Your disciple uses two blades, which spin continuously. And with his wind domain, and his agility. Wanting to attack him at the start is hard too. And the moment his blade technique is unleashed, it'll be over. The man in the grey robe laughed, not bad, not bad at all. Can he pass? Nwolan Shan looked at him, no problem. I'll pass this footage to the Lord when I get back. I believe, placing by Kaluo, as one of our special elites in the Hundred Tiger building shouldn't be a problem. The grey-robed man smiled. Nwolan Shan's smile deepened. After a while. There was only Nwolan Shan left in the room, Peng. 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 There were knocks on the door, enter. Nwolan Shan shouted. The door opened, a black-robed by Kaluo, along with the pointy-eared De Wen entered, ancestor, teacher. De Wen and Bai Kaluo bowed respectfully. Nwolan Shan looked up at the two before him, the black-robed Bai Kaluo with a face full of green scales, made his entire exterior look cold. However Nwolan Shan fancied it more as he looked, Bai Kaluo, I've just arranged with the Hundred Tiger Building to place you as a special elite to be nurtured, thank you teacher. Bai Kaluo bowed slightly, yes. Nwolan Shan turned to look at De Wen, De Wen, you and Bai Kaluo should be reaching Earth soon, ancestor, we are really close to Earth now. I estimate that we will reach in three days. De Wen's eyes were filled with anticipation, after traveling for two years and eight months, naturally he was anxious, very good. Nwolan Shan was excited, by Kaluo, Nwolan Shan looked at him, teacher. By Kaluo replied respectfully, remember, the first goal of heading into Earth, acquire that automaton ship. Don't arouse or disturb the armies of Earth, or even that Luo foam. First acquire that ship. That is the priority. Nwolan Shan's expression was serious, when you've acquired that ship, if you get the chance, get rid of that Luo foam. Yes. Bai Kaluo and De Wen replied respectfully, Go on, I'll await your good news. Nwolan Shan smiled. Bai Kaluo and De Wen left immediately. Simultaneously when Bai Kaluo had just concluded his battle, within the slaughterhouse battle arena, break. Luo foam looked at his opponent, a golden swordfish formed a beautiful arc, leaving people enticed from its shocking beauty, the swordfish had already pierced through the opponent's head. Crazy, victory, break. Covered in the golden domain, the gold swordfish was extremely excited, it jumped around, shook about and waved its tail, immediately forming a beautiful arc, easily piercing through what seemed like an impenetrable defense, right through the opponent's forehead. Crazy, victory, break. 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 The reputation of Crazy was widespread within the Black Dragon Mountain Island Slaughterhouse. Crazy is a powerful nine star rated fighter, battling against higher levels in every battle. His earlier self was only a star level six spirit reader, he, however, had already cleared and demolished all within his level. When he stepped into the star level seven, he swiftly reached the nine star grade and was invincible within his own level, even when he battled against higher levels, he had a 99% winning percentage. Incredible terrifying. Within the Black Dragon Mountain star field, there were already many powers taking note of this genius. Whether it was the Four Leviathans, or the Two Sacred Lands, they all extended their invitations and hands to this absolute genius. 
However, this genius called crazy didn't bother with them at all, it's over, I'll stop here. Luo Feng smiled, vanishing from the battle arena. Mars? Within the ship, sitting cross-legged, Luo Feng opened his eyes, the slaughterhouse in Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, not much of a challenge at all. Luo Feng exclaimed, what are you proud of? You use the Golden Horned Beast, with a four-layer domain, and comprehension of the Golden Universe laws. You must know, even in the huge Axe Dojo, like that universe-level death battle, if anyone began to comprehend the universe laws, it would be instant victory, you comprehend the laws and have a four-layer domain, even more importantly, your consciousness level far exceeds those of the same level, because your consciousness is that of the Golden Horned Beast, domain, universe laws, consciousness level, all incredibly strong. What's so strange about being invincible within the same level in the Black Dragon Mountain Star Field? If you want to compete, compete with all the geniuses in the Ganwu Empire, compete with all the geniuses of the universe. Barbata can't stand it when Luo Feng gets cocky, so he jumps in to knock him down time and again. Luo Feng grinned, immediately flying out of the universe ship and landing on the surface of Mars. Rumble, in the distance was an incredibly huge, beast that was hard to see end to end, covered in black scales breaking out from the ground. Its eyes were cold and brutal, they gleamed gold as it looked at Luo Feng, after which, the space beast vanished and entered into Luo Feng's internal world, deity of the world, it's really hard to train, luckily from the world within a world, I got a shocking amount of wealth and was able to afford all these valuable materials. No wonder so many golden horned beasts only managed to finish the first level with their entire lifespan. Luo Feng exclaimed and shook his head before flying swiftly back into the ship. Rumble, the universe ship took off and left Mars as it headed towards Earth. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.